now we know about cancer from our work with the keto is that getting step, patients step one into the ketosis stage reduces all of the factors that are contributing to their progressive disease. It gives us a little bit of an opportunity to now think of other things. Is this tumors cancer or all cancer? All cancer. Every cancer needs glucose and glutamine, okay? Blood cancers, breast cancers, colon cancers, bladder cancers, brain cancers, colon, all these different cancers. They all have the same metabolic demand. Why? Because their respiration is defective. So cancer comes as the result of the mitochondria's damage over a chronic period, forcing the cell into this ancient fermentation pathway, which involves two prime fuels, which is glucose and glutamine. Both of these fuels impact on each other and are powerfully synergistic. So when we use keto alone, we shut down the glucose arm of this pathway, but the glutamine, and it depends on the cell, some cells are very more glutamine dependent than glucose dependent, like cells of our immune system, blood, blood cancers and these things. They require a lot of glutamine. Nobody targets glutamine. So in the, in the, neuro, in the brain tumors like glioblastoma, you have two different kinds of cells. The stem cells proliferating like crazy are primary glucose dependent, less glutamine. But these in highly invasive mesenchymal neoplastic cells are more glutamine dependent than glucose dependent. So what we do is simply target both and we'll kill both cell types. So when, when you do one, you'll kill this cell more than the other and do that, you'll kill that cell. But if you take the two fuels away, you kill all the cells. So, and not only that, when the patients and the mice come into these therapies, you know, they, they have other, other problems. Like our mice don't have type two diabetes, but some people do. And as we begin to treat the cancer, we, we, we notice, whether it's breast cancer, brain cancer, we notice that there are other ailments, like diabetes and other metabolic disturbances, gradually disappear and become much, much lower, along with the elimination of their tumor. So they begin to emerge from this therapy healthier than when they started. And the goal is not to induce toxicity or any kind of a disturbance. The question is, of course there are a lot of people that are surviving cancer with current therapies. But as we heard from Justin and others, their bodies pay a significant price for that extra life. We think we can do that without the toxicity and actually extend longer life. Not only that you had a terminal cancer, but the fact that you can even now extend life far longer than you ever would have imagined. So, so we're, we're doing it all with this, but it's a sophisticated metabolic transformation in the body knowing how to use therapeutic ketosis as one part of the process and how to use specific drugs and procedures that work synergistically with therapeutic ketosis to lead to the eventual long-term management and resolution of cancer.